We have to talk about one other player whose stock is down. It's Gus Edwards of the Ravens. What were you expecting from him and what went wrong? Uh, I guess it wasn't really something that went wrong. I think it was more so that we're getting confirmation that our worst case outcome for Gus Edwards is true. Because in that game against Atlanta, you know, Atlanta is this team notorious for funneling targets to the running back. And they did funnel targets to a running back. It just wasn't Gus Edwards. It was Ty Montgomery instead. Uh, Gus Edwards has one more target than I do this year. One more target than you do, Maria. <laughs> and that's probably not a good thing for fantasy production. Because as we talked about on this show many times throughout the year, a target is worth twice as much as a carry. So the 21 carries for Gus Edwards, that's good. He's had good you know, carry workloads the entire year. And if he scores a touchdown, great. He can still pay off. But if he doesn't get those targets, it's really hard to trust him unless he scores or if that team gets behind. And next week, they're going on the road. They're facing Kansas City. They're probably not going to win that game. And that's a pretty big red flag for a guy like Gus Edwards. Even though Kansas City's rush defense can be exploited, I don't think it matters with the potential game script in that game. Because if they fall behind, it's going to be Ty Montgomery or Kenneth Dixon, who was activated from IR before that game on Saturday. So... There are a couple of guys here who can take away targets from Gus Edwards. That's a concern. Kenneth Dixon as a runner, pretty good. He had a really good rookie year. I know it was back in 2016, but he looked good then. He, he was a fun prospect coming out of college, too. So they have some talent in that backfield outside of Gus Edwards. And that talent is guys who can take away those higher leverage looks from Edwards, specifically as a receiver. So I kind of think it's not, you know, necessarily Gus Edwards getting a stock down. Maybe that's not the way to phrase it, but instead he confirmed our fears where he's not going to get work as a receiver. And unless he scores, things could go bad in a hurry. So I think next week on the road in Kansas City, that's a spot where I can't trust Gus Edwards. I know, again, the, the, the Chiefs rush defense isn't great. But his archetype of player is just not one that's super conducive to upside in fantasy. So for me, I think I'm pretty much out on Gus Edwards, at least for next week in Kansas City, with that matchup, with that potential game script. And until I see him start to get targets, it's going to be hard to have a lot of faith in him. Not being a pass-catching threat is already one strike against Edwards. Then you throw Kenneth Dixon in the mix and some other factors, and it's just not necessarily a play that you feel super comfortable with. Well, Jim Sonis, a number fire. Thanks so much for the insight, as always. That's going to do it for this edition of the FanDuel. Hurry up. But for more content, just hop over to FanDuel.com slash the duel and click on videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the Fantasy Sports Network.